Hi. I was going to record this the other night. I walked through a lot of things in my mind to mention that I wanted to say. It's not so easy to say it now. Probably because so many things have happened in the last few days <laughs> since even before I pretended to make this video. I've been working off the premise for a while now that the work that I do, the writing that I do, it's worthless. I have this story I want to tell. And it's just such a huge story. I want to tell it all. I've got so much to talk about that I'm afraid I'm just writing it for myself and therein lies the problem I had gotten to the point where I didn't want to see it anymore. Sometimes you put so much of your own energy your own feelings, your own emotions, your own wants and desires into your characters. And when things start to change in your life, you feel that those characters no longer mean anything to you. And that's really how I was feeling. You give up on your writing and it's the same thing as killing your dream. You put it all away. You don't return to it. You just bury it. I've done that before. I've went years before. <laughs> where I wouldn't write anything. Because the only person who was seeing it was me. And then I found others who would read. I found an editor who actually believed in me. And I found someone who told me, you need to tell this story. You need to tell it.
I got to the point the other day where I didn't want to tell anything anymore. very hard point in my life. But a funny thing happened. I fell in love with the story again. I fell in love with the characters again. Because for a while, for a while there, they they seemed lost to me. I don't know why. Because there were things that I would write that just would at me when I'd write them it hurt it was painful to put those feelings down on paper <laughs> or whatever passes for paper on a computer Before last Friday, I'd actually stopped thinking about them, which is something I hadn't done in a very long time. I just stopped thinking about them because They no longer had any meaning to me. And I didn't care if I finished it or not. I didn't care if I ever saw this story again. The last couple of days, though, I realized I'm the only person that can tell this story. The only person that can tell their story. I know their lives. From their birth to their death. And even what happens after they die. Because I've, I've imagined it. And I realized that I'm a really good writer. That if I kill my dream, <laughs> there's really no point in going on, is there? And I don't want to do that. I'm a damn good writer. May not seem like it some days, but I am. And I'm an amazing woman because it would go through this crap that I go through. I didn't want this. And I'm telling an amazing story. And it's a story that deserves to be read then.
I can't keep that from people. I used to say all the time I'm writing this story for someone that someone wasn't me it was someone close to me but I figured out the other night I'm not just writing that story for one person I'm writing it for two them and me I already know how good it is and when they get it they're going to see just how much I loved these characters and how great their first story is going to be. They're going to love it. I just know they will. Good night, everyone.